was good, God did it. Yes. Yes. The Lord tells us that in all things, get thanks. Give thanks Everything yes. that was good. And, 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 and I don't want to deceive anybody because sometimes there were trials and tribulations. Yes. You might not have called it good, but I called it good. You see, when cancer came, the world said, Vanessa, the devil's trying to take you out. But it was good because God healed my body. It is absolutely my humble pleasure to be here before you to celebrate Women's Day with All you. Right. Giving honor to God who is ahead of my life. Yes. He is the keeper of my soul. Yes. He is the deliverer oh, from God. all the filthiness that I once used to play in. Oh. He is the keeper of my life, the guarantor. Then for those of you who don't know guarantor, that means he guarantees me. As yes. long as I continue to walk with him, talk right, and preach the gospel, right. I will see him on the other side. Yes. I got a word. That the Lord has put in my heart. Yeah. And in honor, First Lady, I give you honor. In honor of this, I want you, if you will, turn with me to the book of John, the fourth chapter. I pray that you have your Bibles. Turn with me to the, the fourth chapter of the book of John. All right. And beginning at verse number six. When you have it, please say amen. amen. John 4, beginning at verse number 6. Amen. I, Pastor Simmons, make no excuse when I'm reading the word of God because sometimes folks get upset when the passage, the scripture, is a little lengthy. But it's God's word. Y'all don't have no problem when you're standing in line getting food. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Getting your hot dogs and your ho yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can give me a little bit of time yeah, yeah, yeah. to give you what thus says the Lord. John 4, beginning at verse 6. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well. And it was about the sixth hour. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her, give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Then saith the women of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, ask drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews had no dealing with the Samaritans. Mm -hmm. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. The woman said unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou that living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well, and drank thereof himself, and his children, and his cattle? Jesus answered and said unto her, 
Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up unto everlasting life. The woman said unto him, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Mm -hmm. Jesus said unto her, Go, call thy husband and come hither. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, Thou hast well said, I have no husband. For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband. In that saith thou truly. The woman says unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Mm -hmm. Our fathers worshipped in the mountains, and ye say that in Jerusalem is a place where men are to worship. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when you shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship, you know not what. We know what we worship. For salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him wow. in spirit and in truth. The word of God for the people of God. Let us pray. Eternal and ever-loving God, our Father, God, we bless you in a new hour of a new day. We thank you, God, for all that you have done so far in this service. God, we thank you, Lord, because at the rising of a new sun, God, you touched us with your finger of love. You woke us up, God, and you let us get dress. You made us to be closed and in our right minds. God, you made us able and capable to have the functioning of our lips, the movement of our eyes, the movement of our fingers and our toes and even our mouth. God, if we had 10,000 tongues, we could not praise you enough. And for that, God, we say thank you. Lord, we ask you right now, join together, hide Vanessa, God, behind the cross of Jesus, that you would be magnified and increased, God, that the word cut like a two-edged sword, that someone here in the sanctuary, someone who may be listening, somebody that may, de may be depleted of faith and hope will be renewed and refreshed. They will be at the well that never runs dry. God, we're asking you to have your way, Lord. Use me, God, as your vessel. Let no obstacle or hindrance stand in my way, God. God God, we just ask you to multiply the word of God that yeah. when we leave yeah. here, we will be full, God, yeah. of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Use us, God, and when you use us, God, send us out the doors of Central Missionary Baptist Church so that we can run on and tell the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Have your way, God, because when it's all said and done, Lord, when it's all said and done, we will be ever so careful to give you the praises, the honor, and the glory. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. Our hearts united together as one. Let the redeem of the Lord say, Amen. Amen. Central Missionary Baptist Church in observance of Women's Day, my title, my topic is simple. Women of valor, stand up and go to the well. Stand up and go to the well. See, what people don't know, most people don't know, is that in the Bible, women of valor is a Hebrew term. It's announced and pronounced twice in the Hebrew Bible, where it talks about Ruth, and then it also talks about the virtuous woman. Yes. Now, First Lady, I prayed about that, but the Holy Spirit didn't give me the opportunity to run down the lane of Ruth, All right. the virtuous woman, mm -hmm. or even Esther. All right. What the Holy Spirit led me to give you in this moment was an opportunity for you to realize, for you to be rejuvenized, for you to be refreshed, for you to get your mind in order, for you to know what you are supposed to be doing according to God, and for you to get your intestinal fortitude up so that you can go on and do the work of missionary. Now, I know, brothers and sisters, missionary is a scary word, and in some churches, it's a dirty word, because they figure that some people, not everybody wants to do it, because it requires you to interact with other people. But you know Jesus, who was our example? He didn't have a problem going wherever he needed to go. He didn't have a problem talking to anybody about anything. We said we want to be imitators of Christ, and then we turn around and say, but I don't want to do that. Lord. Now, I realize we're talking about 
Women's Day. And, 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 and as the pastor said, and for you men who are here and you men who are listening, your day's going to come. Yeah. The Lord is blessed me. If you want me, I can give you a men's message too. But today, today, we're talking about women. Women. And my message, first ladies and ladies of valor, has two very important points. The first point, the message of Jesus. The second point is the mission of your ministry. The message of Jesus and the mission of your ministry. Yeah. You see, without the message of Jesus, y'all ain't got no ministry. On, I'm, I'm sorry. You don't have ministry. Every now and again, I, 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 that's just who I am, Pastor. That's just who I am. Conversely, the mission of your ministry is the message of Jesus. You see, when we think about valor, we typically think about men going into battle. Come on. But truth be told, right. we all in battle. Yeah. Right. And since it's today, if we're talking about women, we're focusing on us's. Come on. Come on. Right. Don't y'all judge me. Don't y'all judge me. Since we're talking about we ins, <laughs> then I'm going to remind you that while men go into battle with the sword, Women go into battle with their faithfulness on, and with their yeah. wisdom and with their fortitude. You want a prayer warrior? You better turn around and look at a woman because they'll get on their knees. They'll drop right now. Whenever there's a fight, whenever there's trouble, whenever there's adversity, you want somebody to pray for you, you better call a woman in the church. The country folks used to say the mothers of the church. But, 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 but no offense, first lady. The first lady, I, I think I got some age on her. So I, that doesn't mean you don't have wisdom. But you go to the women of the church. Yeah. Now let me tell you something about the message Come of on. Jesus. Come on. Can I just be real? Yeah. Now, now, Pastor, you told me I can preach like I'm home. Yeah. I, I'm hoping you're not going to take that back from me. See, here's, here's the thing about the message of Jesus. We tend to select who we want to give that message to. Now don't you throw nothing at me. I'm just saying what God says to you. You know, and, 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 and see, when we think about women, think about what you are combating. Our children. You know they need prayer now more than ever. Truth be told, the whole universe needs prayer. You know, we said. Marriages have a 50% fail rate. Mm -hmm. Communication is getting frail. Wow. You got not just people outside the church, but you got people in the church yeah. hating on you. Wow. Yes, but the bumper sticker says, I love the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm not here, Pastor Simmons, to tear nobody down. I'm just here so we get it right. Because see, my responsibility, you know, I'm held to a greater responsibility as a teacher. Oh, yeah. To rightfully divide the word. Yeah, right? yeah, and so when you when you go out the doors, I don't want you to say, I, I hope nobody said, you know what, Reverend Smalls Bryant is an entertainer. I'm not an entertainer. Come on, I'm a teacher. Right. And when it comes to the word of God, we can have fun with it. But it's for the edification right. and the teaching right. and the impartation right. of the word in your spirit. Yeah. See, sometimes we just want to have things tickle our ears. Oh, okay. All right. And then when we go home and we call somebody up, or when we get in the parking lot and get on Facebook, we can't, I, what Reverend Smalls Brian preached about? Oh, Girl, I don't right. know, but her dress was nice. Yeah. The choir sure did sing. Come on. Come on. But what was the word? The word. Because see, the word, you're going to have to right. meditate on that. See, we're still talking about the message of Jesus. Yeah. We're still talking about the reason why you, women of valor, got to stand up and go to the well. Because it's a beautiful, beautiful, hard fight that you have to endure. Yeah, yeah. And every now and again, you may feel, women of valor, that you're doing it all by yourself. See, God said he would never leave us nor forsake us. Is that not the word? That, that, that's my Bible said. That's my Bible said. That's all. That's all. We have to make sure that more than ever, women of valor, that we stand up. Come on. Now, 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 there's a certain type of personality, Reverend, yeah. that, that, that has to come before God. Amen. Let me tell you about the personality. You got to know the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to know how to pray. Amen. You got to be authentic. Yeah. You got to not be cutting me down sitting there while you texting on your Facebook right. while I'm preaching. All right. You got to know that you know that you know God lives in you. Yeah. All right. You see, you see we're, we're talking about the woman at the well. Yeah. Now, y'all know the story. 
Well, let me give you the 2021 version. All right. The Come woman on. at the well, you know, the unnamed woman. Yeah. She ain't got no name to us, but right. Jesus knows her name. Yeah. Yeah. The woman at the well, she couldn't go there when all the other women went to the well. Why? Because she was an outcast. That's right. That's right. The bad girl of the village. Right. Scandalous. Scandalous. Got a name. Yeah. It ain't a name that you want to use in the church, y'all. I'm just saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, and sometimes I believe, Pastor Simmons, when the Lord gives us that passage and it doesn't have a name, he makes it easier for us to insert our name oh in that one space. Oh because if I'm not going to stand here and profess to anybody that I've been saved, sanctified, and righteous all my life. Oh my I'm going to tell you a little story. Pastor asked me about my military career, and I, I told him I spent time as a U.S. Marine, and, and then I was an airman. Now, if y'all ever met a Marine, come on. <laughs> All right. Don't y'all judge me. And 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 the, and the thing about God, minister of music, the thing about God is God meets us where we are. But 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 but, but let me, come on, we're still talking about the message of Jesus. Why is it that God can meet me where I am, but y'all got so much judgmental levels to determine how I can come into your church? I'm asking that for a friend. I'm asking for a friend. Because, see, I, I sit at home and, and I'm reading my Bible, and the Bible says, Come as you are. The Bible says, I'll forgive you. The Bible says, Go to the well, it's refreshing water. And then I come to the door of the church, and then I can't sit next to you because I don't dress like you. I can't go sit over here because I didn't know that that was a special seat. I ain't see no name on it, but it was a special seat. I can't come sit over here because, you know, your friend, 11 o'clock service, but don't come to 11.45, but yeah. come, and they need that airspace. Yeah. Why are we judging people? The message of Jesus to the woman at the well was, I don't care what you've done, daughter. I am your living water. I am your salvation. And more importantly, you are here. Which means to say you got to be humble in order to come to the Lord. And you got to be, correct me if I'm wrong, Pastor Simmons, Teachable. I see pe Pastor stand up there like, Vanessa, you might not be back here again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 4 of John, at the beginning of that passage, it tells you where he was, Jesus, where he's going, what he was doing when he was there. Somebody say background story. So see, everybody interested in John 4, the first five verses, the all background right. story. Right. But when I come through the door, all you sanctified people, don't nobody want to hear my background story. Hello. Hello. Don't nobody want to hear my background story. You make me too ashamed to even tell you the background story because you're so holy and righteous. Sometimes we're so righteous, we know we're not worthy there. Yeah. Yeah. How are you going to save me if you hide in Jesus? Yeah. 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 Well, hello. <laughs> the question was, Jesus is sitting at the well, and a woman, you know, she comes there, gets the water. I right, give you the background. Mm -hmm. This is the middle of the day. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, that's right. And historically, that's right. the women have already gone to the well. That's but she right. can't go there. Why? Because they're catty. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I, I, I had another word as a Marine, but they're catty. Um, right. And the question was, will you give me a drink? Yeah. 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 Sometimes I'm just saying, mm -hmm. I'm just saying, Deacon, sometimes um, people can't even get a program when they come through the door. I feel like I'm being judged, y'all. <laughs> Jesus knows this woman by name. The scripture says that she's unnamed, but Jesus knows her. Jesus knows every single thing about her. You can act all cute and beautiful if you want to, but God knows where the skeletons are. God knows how dark your heart is. God knows that you're saying, praise the Lord, when that small time won't be done. God knows. So you can front and do all you want to, but God knows. And, 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 and earlier, the sister that did the announcement, oh, oh, because y'all, this, this is what preachers do. When they guest preaching, they take notes. All right. 
Sister Lewis Johnny. She says, we're all in this together. Man, that made my locks get a little tired. You know, and, and, and that poem was be blessed. Yes, I was taking notes, people, because see, what preachers do is when you're around them enough, Pastor Simmons, correct me, we make you a sermon. God is real, God loves you, believe it. And, and, and sometimes when we're in the church, I'm still talking about the message of Jesus. Yeah. We be singing about stuff and saying some stuff, and we don't even believe it in our heart. See, see, the thing about Jesus is he didn't know her name, but he knew her. Yeah. And, and, and what happened in that exchange, if you will, is that as they go later and later into the verses, a stranger. All right. But it was all said and done, right. kind of like our lives. All right. She was with a savior. Yeah, yeah. That's a shot right there. It right. was a stranger, somebody she didn't know but knew her. But when it was all said and done, her life was in his hand. Yeah. Ain't that how he picked you up? Ain't that how he picked you up? Ain't that how he picked you up? You solid ground? See, unlike people, God meets us where we are. Come with a broken and contrite heart, and he will do the rest. See, if we could have saved ourselves, like some of y'all think y'all doing for me, all of us would have been saved. But when we nobody out there that we have to go and give the gospel to. But since we cannot save ourselves, we need a savior in Jesus. The woman at the well already see she was seeking. Anybody ever been seeking? Exchange that first exchange was she already instantly she goes oh my gosh yeah yeah I know I got secrets can't leave Cancun but he knows <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. he closer to me than my secret deodorant he knows it he closer to me than Victoria's Secret he knows it so you can front if you want to but God knows it. Relationship with right. Jesus. Now, 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 watch this, watch this, watch this. You are a Jew and I am a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go back to the church. When I come to the door, you the usher. Got a stack, arm um, stack full of program. All right. All right. All right. Can I get a program? Come on. Do it cost something? Because you're not letting it go. You get reserved for people. Y'all know. I'm, 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 okay, I'm going to quit looking at you. Because you're encouraging me. And, and I'm trying to be welcome back here. I'm, 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 I'm going to make eye contact with, with you. I'm going to make eye contact with you. This is, this is, no, 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 listen. She goes, you, you're asking for a drink from me? Now, had the Samaritan woman lived in 2021, she would have said, boy, bye. <laughs> the fact that Jesus spoke not only to a woman, but to a Samaritan woman, let her know that she was seen. You ever felt invisible? Come on. You, have, you, you ever been in your own place where you know people and people know you, but they act like they don't know you? They act like they don't see you? But with Jesus, Cry, do not pass me by. Wow, on 
others that are waiting, do not pass me by. See, it's personal for me. It's personal, the relationship I want to have with Jesus. It's personal, the relationship he wants to have with you. See, and the Samaritan woman, she understood that. She already been outcast when nobody talking to her. They were already making her feel different. They were making her feel filthy, not worthy. Anybody ever not feel worthy? See, 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 see. See, regardless of where you find yourself, God sees you. And, 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 and sometimes we get a little discouraged, First Lady. We can cry all night long and walk the floors, and we believe, we feel like the devil gets in our head, we space in our, in our heads, and try to tell us that God is not listening to you, Vanessa. Don doesn't want to hear this again, Vanessa, but the devil is a liar. And remember that what he does, you know, he got a three-point agenda. Rob, kill, and steal. Destroy. You know what I'm saying? But Jesus said, I come that you would have life. Do you believe it? Because yeah. it's not like we just recite in the two verses, but you got to live like you know who God is in your life. you got to live and present yourself like you truly are. The light set high on a hill. We cannot just talk it. That's right. Amen. Amen. Ain't the word, I'm sorry, doesn't the word say he will know you by your fruit? Okay, that's all right. And so, so God, not only was Jesus at the well talking to her, identifying who she is, saying, I see your daughter. Yeah. He was also saying, I know you. I know you. Yeah. Now, y'all can, y'all can front all y'all want to with yeah. people in Central Mi Missionary Baptist Come Church. All you, want to. you can front with the pastor. You can front with the first lady. Yeah. You can front with all these ministers. Yeah. You can front with the deacon. But you cannot front with Jesus. Right. And until you make yourself available and visible and accessible, God cannot, will not do anything with or for you. Come on, Holy Ghost. Come on, Holy Ghost. See, 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 see. When she had that conversation and he asked about the, the husband yeah. and he went ahead and told her, she didn't lie. Yeah. Because she knew she was in front of daddy. Y'all remember when y'all were kids? And mama would ask you a question. But but daddy would get that stance like Pastor Dot right there. <laughs> and just and, 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 and just because daddy got that stand, you know you gotta tell the truth. Yeah. Jesus. But the Holy Father says, and my arms are open. So I want you to come on in. Come on in. Come on in. See, you, you, you cannot get to know God and see God and be in God's presence until you sincerely, absolutely, humbly give yourself to God. Because God says he's standing at the door and what? Now I know that. I, okay, let me, let me slow myself down. Because I know y'all sophisticated. You got your little ring. <laughs> ding dong, ding dong. Okay, Jesus ain't coming like that. <laughs> because even with your ring, he's standing there, you're looking at him, and you don't even know who you're looking at. <laughs> There's no condemnation for those who are in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, this, this, Minister Music, let me just say this. Come on. I, I know the pastor's not going to like it. Come this on. is a pep rally for Women's Day. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, 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 listen. And, and, and if you don't invite me back, sister, y'all stay united. We can do this in the parking lot. I don't even need a microphone. Jesus knows our past. He knows all about us. You know what I'm saying? He knows all those dirty little thoughts, the good and the bad. He knows that you, you meant to get up for Sunday school this morning, but you know the weather's changed, the flowers are blooming. You was out there cutting your grass. Uh-oh. Come on. <laughs> Washing your car. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Now see, now see, see, there you go judging. Because see those people who are washing their cars, when you get ready to come to 11 o'clock service, they've been to the 8 o'clock service. Right. Right. Or not. Right. <laughs> right. 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 Jesus doesn't, he doesn't reject us. And then we go, I'm going to move a little faster because I want you to get these points. Jesus answered her in verse 10. It says, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that asked you for a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes, Hallelujah. She's standing in the presence of the creator of the universe mm -hmm. and does not recognize him. Mm -hmm. Now, if I can, because I said I'm going to go to you, because you with me. 
Murphy. He's making eye contact. <laughs> not only are we standing there looking at God and not knowing who God is, but, but if I can, first lady, because she bought my height, let me just stay over here. <laughs> I'm not going to preach at your midday. <laughs> but what happens is not only do we not recognize him, but we're praying for stuff and we don't even believe what we're praying for. Wow. brothers, and when I was smaller, two of them are older, I would go to the barbershop with them. Mm. And I got to get, at a young age, ladies, <laughs> the inside scoop. <laughs> the men at the barbershop talk as much as the women at the beauty yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, because I don't want, listen, 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 listen. I don't want nobody to start no scandal between me and, and, and the pastor, but I'm just going to use him as an example, because he got the thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and, and, and his, his, do you call him a stylist or a barber? A barber, big barber. <laughs> Gets him the mirror, and he goes, hey, can you tighten it up a little bit? The first lady like to run her hand through this. <laughs> he says, okay, okay, big head. We got you. She says, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, she can, she can work with that. She can work with that. Okay, yeah, and can you take a little bit? Okay, I, I got you, I got you. Mm -hmm. Come on. Uh -huh. <laughs> see, 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 see. We know what we like. That's a sidebar, free tuition. It ain't in the strip. It's not a sermon, but let me get back on point. Okay, so when you're standing in the presence of God, you've got to know who he is. Because here's the thing about God. When God is moving in your life, he'll start to shift the atmosphere. He'll start to change your circumstances. You know, and, and, and every now and again, in the midnight hour, when you get to feeling like, well, he can't hear you, he's not listening, and you start leaning to your own understanding, God says, lean on me. What will he do? If we lean this way, they're going to let us fall. Yeah. If we put our hands out for a 20, they ain't got nothing. Oh, yeah. But Jesus said, I got all that you need. Oh, I got all you can ever want. Oh, I got yeah. cattle on a thousand here. Yeah. But you must believe. Oh, you must believe. Oh, yeah. See, 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 see. What, what, what God did in that moment, Jesus did, was he saw the need of that Samaritan woman. She knew her. He knew her background, but he also knew her destiny. Don't you think God knows your destiny? Yes. And, and, and out of all the conversation that they had, okay, this wasn't like match.com or anything like that. He showed her instantly that she was loved by him. Hallelujah. Now, you know, here's the thing. I want you to look back at that passage and say, well, what in the world did the Samaritan with no name do to deserve his love? Put a mirror up. What did you do All to deserve right. this love? Jesus loved her just because of who Jesus. she was. See, sometimes we got to go through some things. Sometimes, because you can't have a testimony unless there's a test. Right. Everybody want to get a cap and gown, but don't nobody want to take All no exams. Right. Make that make sense to me. Right. Okay? So, so, uh, Pastor. I love you, brother. Thank you for offering this opportunity to come here. You know, I, I got to say thank you now in case he said, Vanessa, get out of here. But I'm just saying thank you. Thank you. See, 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 what happened was Jesus gave her that linen water despite all that she had done. And then her humility said that she was teachable. She was open. She was willing. She was wanting. She was needy. And she was ready. Anybody here ready? He loved you, 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 and he certainly does love us. He loved you, you know what I'm saying? He loved the entire world enough he got on that cross. Yeah. You know, three days, yeah. and he got out. Yeah. What you said? He said, Jesus is real. God is real. God loves you. Do you believe it? Yeah. And see, he's the only one that can offer you eternal life. Now, I know some of your friends are offering you a ride to the mall, and they're offering you a ride to Columbia. All right. <laughs> You gotta pay for gas. And, and they didn't tell you that they only got enough to get you there. How you getting back? You got to be on the job tomorrow. Wait a minute. Unless you retire. 
Holler system. The Samaritan woman came to the well to draw water. When she left, her soul was overflowing with the love of God. I want y'all to go back to that moment when you first experienced salvation. Because every now and again, I know I do it, I tell God, return to me the joy of my salvation. Why? Because life be hard sometimes. A sister go through some stuff sometimes. A sister feel alienated sometimes. A sister feel like she can't work it out sometimes. The sister give it to God and then snatch it back. We are some brave robbers. God, I'm telling you, we are. So I will say this is dead and we'll go right back there and dig it up. We'll bring it back home. And sit in a comfortable chair. We'll come you're sitting there and call yourself a believer in yes. the word of God. Oh, let the dead bury the dead yes. and let the dead stay dead. Yes. Oh, yes. Listen to me. When she went to the well, oh my Lord, she went to the well, she met a stranger who became a savior. She went to the well because people had talked about her, cast her out, even the five husbands, even the one she had laying out back at the crib, Come at on. the house, you know, Come didn't respect her. Man, at Luther, he could have gone to the well for her. He didn't do that. He got I'm just saying, this is a sidebar again, Pastor Simmons. Be careful who you are, okay. <laughs> it's Women's Day. I'm a teacher. This is what I do. Thanks be to God. I ain't got no bumper stickers on my car. So let me a valor. Stand up. Go to the well. Because in the well, there's life. There's word. There's redemption. There's salvation. Don't be afraid. And guess what? See, we, we got a mob mentality, Pastor. We can't go nowhere unless we go in with the crew. Sometimes you got to go by yourself. The team wasn't with you when you were trying last night. The crew wasn't with you when you were sitting in that chair the The crew wasn't with you when your finances was all jacked up. The crew wasn't with you when you had four flats kidding you to turn the engine over. Choose your friends wisely. God said, I'll stay closer than a friend to you. God knows you by your name. And he calls you a child of this. But then, let me, let me, let me, because you might get it twisted. And sometimes we, we tend to follow the devil. Let me tell you something about the devil. You probably already know it. You probably already know it. See, the devil knows your name. But because he wants to crush your self esteem and oh, yeah. throughout your character dishonor you, Come on. he calls you by your sins. Come on. Jesus sees your sins Come on. and still yes, calls you by your name. Still says that you're an heir. Come on. Destiny for eternity. Forever Come on. with him. Yes. Not just to the next payday, forever. Yes. Not just to the next stimulus, forever. Yes. Not just till I get another boo, forever. Yes. Not just till I get an upgrade in my house, forever. Oh. Not till I change my locks, forever. Yeah. And in case you haven't heard it, forever is a mighty long time. Yes. Yes. Now that's the message of Jesus. Yes. It's, 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 Jesus wants us to know that he has a heart for all people. In spite of what it looks like outside of these doors, because when people are hating on people just because they look different, talk different, dress different, mm -hmm. get, see, when you know better, you cannot, let me say this, mm -hmm. I'm speaking to somebody's heart, Hello. just because they cast stones at you, Come on. you can't cast stones back at them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. see here, here's here, here's here, oh God, mm -hmm. here's what happens. Mm -hmm. The world judges me by your Christian actions. You, you start to block my opportunity to tell somebody about Jesus because you acting all out of your character. And, and if I can just be true, and I'm sure Pastor Simmons has said this to you, if you ever made that statement, you about to make me come out of my Christian character, <laughs> then you must not have been grounded and rooted in the word of God. Because if it's not rooted, it's rotted. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So what we want you to do the message of Jesus of salvation, redemption, and liberty in the name of Jesus. Now, 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 I told you I got two points. Let me get here. Let me get here. Armed with the message of Jesus, it's time. Women of valor. You're already standing up. We, we're taking some steps to the well. Okay, now we need to get busy with the mission of your ministry. Now, a lot of folk want to have their name on a roster. Come on. I'm just saying, a lot of people, well, if I can't be the chairperson, first lady, 
You don't you put my name on that. <laughs> if I can't lead somebody and tell somebody where to go, Come on. I'm back at the house, Pastor. Yeah. 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 Stay right there. If I cannot be the head person in charge. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, now let me remind you, women of valor, and men of valor also. This is spiritual warfare. We're going into combat. And so much will be required of you. Yes, and, 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 and here's the thing. When you get ready to go into combat, you got to put all your gear on. Where are my military folks at? Mm. You know, when I, I, was, I was in the Middle East, my, my equipment weighed more than I did. Yeah. And then when I first put it on, two people would hold me up because I would just go back and forth like this. <laughs> you know, and then I did that John Wayne stance. And they go, okay, you got it. I go, yes, sir, I got it. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Forward. You know, until you get firmly... Rooted in the word of God, don't you be going out there to try to do missionary or ministry. And, 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 and I'm going to say this because the pastor going to preach about it. Please, Lord, let him preach about it. Some way down the road, that if you cannot get fully armed with the equipment and the training, that's Bible study, preaching, being in the church where you're supposed to, being on committee, auxiliaries, and all that stuff. If you can't do that, stay home. No, 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 stop. Don't you go back and tell the first lady in the past, Reverend Small's brother told me to stay home. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm going back to New Ashley. <laughs> well, no, I don't know how I'm Pastor Foster might say, Vanessa. Okay, when you're in the middle of a spiritual battle, the Lord is seeking women who's going to go all the way. Right. Right. Okay, and, 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 and if I can just be real with my, my, my women, going into combat, it ain't for the cute and the beautiful. <laughs> you can't go into combat and be worrying about your locks coming down on your perm, on your relaxer, on your collar, on your nails, on your toes. Right. You got to forego your nails and your toes getting dead. Right. Done. I'm sorry. Right. That's just who I am. Okay, you say, say your mission, okay, if you decide to accept it, because a lot of people, you know this pastor, come up there and give you the right hand, and I'll baptize, I'm going to be there. <laughs> I know you're still waiting for some members <laughs> that, that, that told you they was going to be here. They haven't been here 12 years. All right. My Lord. Not everybody got GPS. I'm taking out for the brothers and the sisters. Okay? <laughs> but, but, but here's the thing. We have to rise up when we're talking about the mission of our ministry. And before you start to do ministry, you ought to, and this goes back to praying, ask God, what is your gift? Ask God, what is your talent? Because everybody can't sing on the choir. I know you want to be on the choir, but everybody can't sing on the choir. Listen, I'll share a story with y'all. Because not all black people have rhythm. That's true. Now, I, I, I can carry a note, Pastor, but I can't sing and clap and sway at the same time. That's too much going on. You know, all they told me in the military was to chew gum and keep going. And so... I was immature. I was an infant in my walk with God. And, 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 and the choir director said, Vanessa, nice voice, but we need you to sing from over there. <laughs> but the choir is right here. <laughs> you're, you're, you're making people dizzy and sick. You can <laughs> Everything in for everybody. So I had to sit down and ask God, for real, for real, Jesus, what is my calling in the ministry of the gospel of Christ? You just can't jump out there. And let me just say something. I'm not just picking on the choir. Everybody, everybody can't be an usher. If you can't smile at me and at least say, good morning, with an authentic heart and a real smile, being on the usher board ain't for you. But I'm, 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 listen, I'm not trying to tear none of your auxiliaries apart. I'm just saying what thus says the Lord. See, here's, here's, here's what we have to do. In light of the seriousness of this spiritual, spiritual warfare, men and women of valor, you can't be self-reliant. And all that you do, everything that you do, if Jesus is not the focal point and he is not the, the person that leads you and guides you and holds you up and steers you clear of danger, death, and harm, then... You're not ready. All right, all right. You see, here's, here's the thing. I know Stevie Wonder talked about that part-time lover, but Jesus is not a part-time lover. And God already told you that he's jealous. If you got to make him first, center front. Right there. But I'm just saying, some people just, I'm talking about ministry. 
They only got Jesus. We we not do Bible study. Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday and Sunday. <laughs> now you see the same people at the water cooler on Monday. <laughs> Was you in church yesterday? Come on, come on, come on. And I'm on the other side of the partition, and I'm like, is that brother so and so cussing up over there like he a Marine or a <laughs> Oh, see what y'all did was y'all made me come out of my Christian character. And what did we learn today about the Christian character? Not how, see, I love the first lady there. Not only do they look good on the arms of the pastor, they be paying attention to you. And nobody else pay attention to you. The first lady will pay attention to you. You see what I'm saying? So you, you got to go out and take dominion. So let's just say that you know, you asked God, you saw him, just like the woman at the well did. What are my gifts? What are my, what are my callings? Where, God, do you want me? And God is telling you where he wants you, but you're telling God you want to go somewhere else. Yeah. Then God's not the captain of your ship. Mm. <laughs> so, so I'm going to say, you know, so God offers and he provides you with all the protection you need. What well, the Lord said, he wants you to step out on faith. Because first lady, it ain't easy to work with our people. Mm. Mm. Amen. Oh, come on. I want to stop right there, but the Holy Ghost said, no, you got to keep moving. Um, it ain't easy to work with our people. Mm. I want to sing on the choir, but I don't want to come to rehearsal. I want to be on the anniversary, but I want to write my own speech. I want to do the music. I'm the IT person. I got some slides of my puppy and my cat at home. See, we laugh about that, but when you're out of the order of God's direction, it's called being disobedient. We're talking about the mission of your ministry. And, and, and it all ties back to that, that unnamed person at the well. She was available. She was teachable. She was seeking. What are you seeking for? What are you asking God for? And now, while you're asking him, are you willing to wait? Oh my gosh, no. See, we, we want to have everything in a microwave second. But, but I told somebody earlier this week in my writing, I said sometimes we got to do things like, like, like Nana and Grandma used to do. Put it in a crock pot. Let it simmer. Everything can't be instant. How many times did God knock at your door before you decided to surrender? He was patient. And he's waiting. And that same patience, that same waiting period that, that he gave to you, to me, to all of us here, we got to give it to somebody that comes through that door that doesn't know the word of God. Just because you change just like that, so you think, you, you can't put that burden on somebody else. Okay, You have to accept the charge. The charge is be strong in the Lord and the power of his might and put on the whole armor of God. Okay, Some of us want to go out and, and to combat and just put on everything. And the one thing, we put on all our gear and the only thing we don't put on is our helmet. <sighs> Faithfulness to God means not giving up when the hardship of ministry becomes overwhelming. It's yes. difficult to work with people. Yes. But God, but God waits and he delivers. Yes. And, and, and so when you go in a battle, you got to choose your weapon. You got to be sure that you identify the enemy. See, some of y'all are walking around. I'm not saying about people in here, but some people are walking around saying, I don't have any enemies. If you say, declare, you don't have no enemies, you're in the enemy camp, you're a prisoner of war. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm just saying. See, the thing about ministry, women of valor and men of valor, is that you got to be patient. Mm -hmm. Just like how Jesus met that woman where she was, you got to meet people where they are. Yes. 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 Quit, quit, quit putting on them what you are and what you all do right. and how you did it. Right. Right. See, see, if you put that on me, then all I got is your testimony. Right. I ain't got nothing to share with nobody. You know, and truth be told, we can tell our testimony over and over and over and over, but people are not going to get saved. They need to know that there's a man who knows a man who knows a man right. that can do all yeah. things but faith. Okay? Yeah. So God wants you to trust them. He wants you to go yes. all the way. You know, and so finally, I want you to get this. Effectiveness in your ministry mm. is conditional. Yeah. Mm. Reverend Small's Bible, what, what, what is the condition about? What is the condition? Mm. You got to be real with Jesus. Because when you're real with Jesus, you're real with yourself. All right, all right. Okay. And you cannot, 
And, and part of that vulnerability, you know, any of you who are doing ministry understands that you got to let folks know you go, you went through something. All right. You know, I, I, and I'll say this real quick before I wrap this up. You know, I'm, I'm a breast cancer survivor, and as I was going through that process, through that process, my, my, my church would tell you for a whole year, I, 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 I didn't want people to know that I was different. I didn't realize, Reverend, that if I shared my story, I would be helping somebody else. But it was a shame of being different, even as a minister. And so then finally somebody pulled me aside. I was a minister then. I said, Minister Smalls, what's, what's with all the, the, the scars? And I said, I'm in the process of transitioning. And I'm in the pulpit. And I don't want people to watch me transition. And you know, right then, the Holy Spirit convicted me, and he said, you're not transitioning. You're transforming. <laughs> and in order for you to be effective in your transformation and the work that I'm doing in you, you must reveal yourself. Hallelujah. You must take that scarf off. You must, you must, you must. Not everybody is bold enough to come up because some people, you know how our people are. They will come and say, what? Breast cancer? You ain't got, you know, they, see, see, not, 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 you know what God says. We'll be accountable for all the words that we speak. And the thing about being in right spirit with God, the Holy Spirit will guide you as to what should come out of your mouth and what should not come out of your mouth. You know, but also, I, that, I, I, I was convicted in that moment. Because, see, somebody, as we got to the end, and we didn't get to the end until a year later, and we didn't get to the end until some misfires happened. Mm -hmm. Horrible mishaps. You know, and, 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 and I found out in that moment, because sometimes, I'm talking about women of valor, sometimes it's a true fact. I got four brothers and a father. Sometimes men will give you more empathy and sympathy mm -hmm. than my sisters will. And, so, and, and when you're going through something, when you're going through a struggle, oftentimes what you want to do is you want to compare your struggle to somebody else's struggle. But see, it doesn't work that way. See, that's just like you saying, well, my sin is not as bad as your sin. My sin is not, you know, it weighs more, weighs less. It doesn't work like that because God tells us sin is sin. And sometimes you, you don't know what you can do just by smiling at somebody. You don't know. I certainly did not know in that moment what I was doing by somebody who had just gotten a cancer diagnosis. Somebody who had just didn't, didn't have the route I had. Yeah, I got mad for a minute. And God said, what you getting mad at me for? How did you tell the world, Vanessa, that you get your testimony unless I took you through what I took you through? All right, all right. Amen. So there's some things in ministry that you're going to have to reveal to your to others in order for your ministry to be authentic and effective. See, if God wanted you to hide, imagine if he didn't go to the cross for you. Imagine if he didn't get up for you. Imagine if he didn't transform and renew your mind. See, we're talking about your mission and your ministry because it's still tied in with the message of Jesus. Jesus says, I don't care where you are. I'm coming to get you if you want me to. I don't care what you've been through. I'm coming to get you, and I'm going to put that behind you. I don't care what you've been through. I don't care where you are. I'm coming to get you, but you've got to want me to come open that door because I'm standing here. Women of valor, stand up. Go to the well. It's cooling and refreshing water there. Go to the well and change your mind and change your heart there. Go to the well. There's somebody that will love you unconditionally no matter what you've been through. Go to the well because God will never leave you nor forsake you. Don't worry about what people say about you. People are going to talk about you till you die. And even when you die and you're stretched out, they still will talk about how you love. So go to the The challenge, not just as we observe Women's Day, it's for men too. That if you don't know who God is, that fresh and living water that will cause you to quench no more. Today is the day you need to say, here I am, God. I'm right here in this moment. And even sometimes, because I know sometimes we get to acting brand new, We've been saved, sanctified, and holy ghost though since, you know, I don't know, since Piggly Wiggly was still operating in all these locations. And, 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 and we think we don't need to be refreshed, okay? But, but every now and again, 
Every now and again, Pastor, I got to get out on my knees and I got to ask God to return to me the joy of my salvation. God, fix this. And that's why God said His mercy falls fresh and new upon you every day because we're redeemed. We're simply repented. We're not perfect. We're not perfect. And if you got somebody sitting in your sanctified right. church saying they're perfect, All right. pray for them. Yes, Stand up and go to the well. Oh, now. Everybody on your feet. Everybody on your feet. Listen. Listen. Jesus, all he wants you to do is to tell somebody about salvation. Matthew tells us that. He says, go to all four corners of the world. See, we want to be ministers of this and ministers of that, but we don't want to engage with other people. We want to select who we engage with, who we talk to. You know, God says, um, what you've done to the least, you've done to me. So I'm saying to you this morning, this afternoon, that if you don't know God for the pardoning of your sins, Today is a good day. Not only is it a good day to come to know him, it's a great day. And you know why, Reverend, it's a great day? Because tomorrow's not promised. Amen. You can fool around all you want to. All right. Let me, let me, let me. I, I was sharing with the pastor. I haven't been to bed yet. I did a funeral yesterday for a 17-year-old. I did a birthday celebration for a 90-year-old. And then just before... Midnight, I went with my sister after her mother drew her last breath. Mm -hmm. So, you don't know. Mm -hmm. This ain't Las Vegas. I wouldn't gamble mm -hmm. on whether or not I'll be here tomorrow. Because in fact, the word said, ain't that the word, Pastor? It says, if thy will be done. Mm -hmm. Got nothing to do with me. Got nothing to do with your long clock. Well. Mm -hmm. So, I'm inviting you. Those of you who are watching, it's not that difficult. I believe that on, on the screen, correct me, one of my IT person, there's contact information for Central Missionary Baptist Church. You know, you can't see what I'm looking at, but I'm looking at the face of God because I see love. I see concern. I see I care about you. I see I'm going to be right here until you come through. I'm going to walk with you. And so... If you haven't had that experience, because see, you got to have that relationship, just like that woman was vulnerable at the well, to have that relationship and give herself to God. If you don't have that relationship with God, you, you, you're basically closing yourself up because God is knocking. And God is very patient. God is very patient. Best 17 year eulogy, 17 year old eulogy. That girl lived a life of evangelism. Lived a life of loving. Went through some stuff and smiled through it all. Maybe it's the morning. I'm asking you. And I don't know if it's appropriate, you know, Pastor Simmons, for me to say, I'm begging you. Don't gamble with your life. All you have to say is, Lord, I repent of my sin. Get yourself connected. Okay, I'm a little prejudiced. This church, I had a church down the street from you, I had a church around the corner from you, but a Bible believing, Bible teaching church so that you can grow, develop, and mature in the Word of God. God loves you. God loves you. And He's waiting on you. If there is anyone here that doesn't know God for the parties of their sin, we're still social distancing, but all you got to do. It's a private moment. It's just raise your hand. You know, if, if, if you've walked away and you've gotten angry at God for something that didn't happen or it happened, it didn't happen the way you thought it happened, ask God forgiveness. He'll still come. He'll still come. Go to the well. And for those of you, you, you may be seated, those of you who may want to pray, there's, there's going to be an opportunity where we're going to do an altar call. And if it's okay, Pastor, I'd like to do that altar call right now. Yes, ma'am. If there's anybody, yes, listen, 
If your life is going so wonderfully well that you don't need prayer, get on the wall. Put up some timber for somebody else. Yeah. Your neighbor, yeah. your parents, your child, your co-workers, your teachers, your students, the people at Walmart, the people at Lowe's. Be an intercessor for somebody because that's our charge in ministry. That's our charge is to tell the world about the living water. Every eye closed, every head bowed. Eternal and ever loving God, our Father. Lord, we bless you, God, and we thank you, God. God, we pray first that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart were acceptable unto you. God, you are my strength and my redeemer. God, we ask you, God, to just move from pillar to post right here in this little sanctuary we call Central Missionary Baptist Church. God, we don't ask you to just stay within the confines of these four walls. God, we're asking for prayer for all the houses to the left, to the right, in front of us and behind us. God, we're asking for all those who are in another church, another place of worship, God, that you may touch them. God, we're asking for those who are watching on Facebook Live, God, that you touch them. God, you know what they have need of. And God, you, you said that all we have to do is put our trust in you. All we got to do is have a conversation with you. We don't have to make it long and drawn out. We don't have to make it a dissertation. We don't have to use big words. God said, you said, just as I am, God, you will hear us. God, we're asking you to intercede for those who may have gotten up this morning not in their right minds. God, we're asking you to intercede, God, because last night some folks laid down and didn't get up this morning. God, have mercy upon their souls. God, comfort those who are all who are in a season and a time of bereavement. God, we're asking you to look behind prison walls, God, and, and bless those who may not know you. God, we're asking you, God, to go to the places that sometimes we get uppity about we don't want to go to. God, we're asking you, Lord, to go to the juvenile attention. We're asking you to go to every hospital, every hospice, every rehab, long-term and short-term places. God, we're asking you, God, to even go to the corners, God. God, we're asking you to make us bold in our ministry so that we will not be afraid to share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're asking you, God, to not let us be afraid, but give us opportunity to open our eyes and may we see you in all your glory, that when we have that opportunity, that we'll step out in boldness and we'll tell somebody about the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. God, we're asking you, Lord, to touch our family who don't yet know you. God, we're asking you to touch those who rejected you. We're asking you to touch those who've run away, walked away from you, God. We're asking you right now, God, to prick them so that their hearts, God, would be changed and they will say, I yield, I yield. What must I do to be saved? God, we're asking you that those who are tied and bound and captive to addictions, to addictions, to break every chain, God. God, we know you can do everything but fail. God, somebody's about to go through an operation or a medical procedure. Touch them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Touch the hands of the doctors, the anesthesiologists, God, the x-ray technician. God, we're asking you to even bless those in this COVID environment that are responsible to take out the trash, the sanitation people. God, we're asking you to bless our children, God, every day with this shooting, God. God, we're asking you to prick the hearts of those, God, who are lonely, who are desperate, who are feeling hopeless, God. God, we're asking you to use us, Lord, that we may stop somebody from doing, listening to the words of the devil. God, don't let Satan rent space in our heads, God, because you promised us, God, that if we would put our hands in your hands, God, that you would never forsake us, nor would you leave us. God, we're asking you to come in right now. God, we're asking you to forgive us for our sins and transgression. God, we are sinners, God, but we're seeking to walk righteously with you. God, we're asking you to order our steps in your words, God. Have your way in our lives, not just today because it's Sunday morning and we're with the people that serve God and look like us and pray like us and talk like us in the word of God. But God, we're asking you to give us that same tongue, Lord, so when we go to work tomorrow, we can tell somebody who wasn't in church about the goodness of the Lord. God, we're asking you to make us bold to share our testimony. God, God, we're asking you, Lord, right now in this moment to bless the, the pastor of this house. God, keep him appointed and anointed. Strengthen him, God, because God, only you know what he goes through. God, he's one man, but he has a whole flock he's taken care of. And God, what do we say about his helpmate? God, strengthen him. Strengthen her that she can be a pillar.
pillow of strength and endurance for him when the times when he feels weak and let down and disappointed. God, we're asking you to bless the entire congregation of Central Missionary Baptist Church. God, we're asking you to bless the families who are represented here. God, not just the family, but our extended families. God, our neighbors, God. God, we're asking you to have your way. God, we're asking you today as we observe Women's Day, God, that you touch every woman, no matter what her age, from the youngest to the oldest, God, and give her the word, God. Let her stand up and let her come to your well that never runs dry. And God, for the men of valor, God, we're asking you to make them strong, that they may lift us up, God, because we are caught hairs in the vineyard of, of grace and mercy. God, have your way, Lord. And God, when it's all said and done, God, we'll be ever so kind, ever so grateful ever so hungry to give you the praise us the honor and glory. These are all blessings we pray in the matchless in the mighty name of Jesus who is the Christ. Our hearts united together as one. Let the Redeemer of the Lord say amen, amen, amen. and amen. God bless you. God be the glory. To God be the glory. Brothers and sisters, didn't our hearts burn within? God bless you. Reverend Small Shrine, for bringing that word from on high. You know, as we planned this Women's Day program last year, little did we know that. It would have to be altered in its delivery and its presentation to everyone. And then it would have to simmer until this year. But as I listened to all the presenters and all those on the program, it was well worth the wait. Amen. All of you 